Although we shouldn't look into our past too often, I think that every once in a while, it's important that we reflect. And because of that, today, we're gonna to be learning about something that I wish I would have known about when I first got started in my journey as a photographer. Welcome back, everyone. I'm James Alcatraz, and these last few months have been absolutely hectic. Between the holidays, family, friends, work. I'm sure that we've all had our blinders on. But like I said at the beginning of this video, a little self-reflection goes a long way. And although there are many things that I've learned about myself, here's one thing that I wanted to share with you that might help you along your journey. Don't ever delete any of your pictures. Well, wait, of course you can delete pitch black pictures and pictures that are beyond recognition. That I can understand. But what I'm talking about today are pictures that maybe it was taken at a time where your fundamentals weren't all there and maybe your subject was a little out of focus. Maybe your subject wasn't exactly where you needed it to be. Don't delete those, keep those, trust me. When I first started, I would go out all the time and take as many pictures as possible. Then I would run back home and load them right up into uh, Adobe Lightroom and I would start editing them. And I tried to do anything that I could to them artistically, but what I would find out often is that if I couldn't do anything with them right off the bat, I would just delete them. Now looking back at that, it upsets me because I've essentially deleted a giant catalog of work that I put a lot of time into, even if it wasn't good fundamentally. And the reason why I'm telling you not to delete them with such conviction is because recently I came across an old memory card of when I first started doing photography. And it hurt me so much to look at all those images because they were not good at all. But regardless of them being quote unquote bad, I loaded them up to uh, Lightroom Classic and I started to play around with them a little bit. And I was shocked with how much fun I had because essentially I was able to apply all the techniques that I've learned since when I first started. And here's the hard to swallow truth. It's not that the pictures were bad, it's that I was bad. And like I stated in my other videos, fundamentals are absolutely crucial if you wanna grow as a photographer. But also don't forget to have fun. And when you first start doing photography, that's the whole point, you wanna have fun. So fundamentally, they're not going to be great. You'll get a good one every once in a while, but it's when you've grown and you're able to go back to your pictures and able to apply what you learn, that's when you really start to notice just how good you've gotten in that amount of time. So of course, I started to dig around for my other old memory cards. And when I loaded them right up, a flood of memories started to flow right over me. And I spent days editing them, reminiscing about the time when I wasn't that good. And it would conjure up these memories and it would make me want to focus on them even more. And I was pleasantly surprised by how much of a challenge this was because it made me exercise a muscle in my brain that I don't normally get to exercise. I was looking at a picture that I took that technically wasn't great. I was trying to see just how good I, how good could I possibly make this image look just based off of what I had. And when you're starting to get better fundamentally, you're able to save a picture pretty fast. But when you're not fundamentally sound, it's super hard to do that. And it's not always possible. And I know, and I didn't beat myself up when I couldn't save a picture, you know, it's, it's not always possible, but it's so much fun. And by the end of the day, I was exhausted. If at any point you feel my pain, please give this video some love. And if you're not subscribed yet, please do so. And while I was editing, I was thinking to myself, why, why did I delete everything? And of course, like I stated before, it was because I wasn't pleased with them. Um, but that just goes to show you how much of an amateur I really was. But another reason is because I just didn't have enough memory. When you're doing a lot of photography and if you're doing it every single day, the amount of memory cards that you have to buy is astonishing. And to be honest, it can put you off if you're not used to it. I mean, think about it. Let's say you used up a whole memory card. Now you have to go through every single picture and you have to judge if it's a good picture or not. So then you have to either delete or buy a new memory card. So then you have to drive to the store or you have to wait for it to get shipped to your house. And believe it or not, this could be a reason why you don't want to do photography anymore. It's just, it's not really worth your time because you're kind of getting into it. But at the very beginning stages, especially, anything can knock you off your course. So another thing that I've done that I wish I would have done immediately at the beginning is I wish I would have bought an external hard drive with just a few terabytes. And it's stupid how cheap they are nowadays. I think mine costs somewhere between $100 and $120. I, I know it's not super cheap, but when you think about how, how much memory a few terabytes it holds, it's a pretty good deal. 
And just so you do know, if, if you do click on the link, I don't get anything from it. It's just purely, this is what I use. So I'm sharing it with you guys. And then what I recommend is upload all your pictures immediately, or once the memory card starts to get full, just go ahead and upload all the information onto the external hard drive, and then just forget about it. Keep growing, keep learning, keep watching YouTube videos, keep reading books, keep, you know, viewing other people's work. And then one day, once you feel the time is right, go ahead and load up some of those pictures onto your laptop and just take a look and then do as I did and challenge yourself. See if you can make something out of the pictures that you once deemed were okay or not of great quality. You'll notice that there'll be big batches of, of your work where you're kind of either maybe going through a phase or kind of experimenting with something that at the time maybe didn't make sense because you didn't have the skills to pull it off. So now that you've grown a little bit, you'll be able to apply the knowledge that you've learned. And then that in turn is going to make you want to learn even more because it's kind of hard to see your growth because you think of it in a linear fashion. But I think it's important to go back. And I think it's very imperative that you look at your work and you apply your skills because it'll it'll show you that you're growing so much because you're able to apply something that you didn't even have in your tool bag before. But more importantly, you're gonna see areas where you're lagging behind and then that's gonna force you to grow even more because now you're very aware, hyper aware of where you're, you need to improve on. And guys, this is how you grow. This is how you become better really fast. It forces you to be uncomfortable. It makes you see all your flaws and, and, and in all that, it also lets you have some moments of, of sweetness that is imperative for you to grow. And this is why I recommend that you never delete your images off your memory card. Instead, back them up externally in a hard drive or in the cloud. Embrace the bad and let those phases that you were going through at that time help you grow even more. I'm gonna wrap this one up. Thank you so much for your time. If you have a topic or a question that you would like for me to cover in a future video, please leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And please check out some of my other videos. And if you like what we're doing here, consider joining us and subscribe. Now get out there and pursue your passion.